Uh, you know, we've been talking about this again for, for weeks now. If you are going to be out and about this afternoon, just, of course, drive safely because it is going to definitely be busy. We're going to keep you updated on anything that gets in your way. Cleo? All right, Stacia, thank you so much. Now, we do have crews across the area. We've got our Chris Sodegi live at the Cotton Bowl in Fair Park for Dallas's Big Eclipse watch party. And Paige McCoy-Smith is live in Ennis, which is right on the center line of totality. But let's start with our Sean Giggy at the Perot Museum. WFAA is actually the only local station there for the Big Eclipse event. And Sean, if people didn't know, you are a big space guy. I am a big space guy. I love space. I, I don't know if we can see this, but I, I wore my planetary socks today. You got the sun right there, the earth. I don't know if we have the moon on there, but that's the best I got today. But man, is it a party out here? We got a lot of space guys and space girls out here. People have traveled from all over the world to be here at the Perot Museum. Thousands of people here today to experience this total solar eclipse. We're just waiting on those clouds to clear. We've seen the sun a few times. We're hoping that those clouds clear at the right time. The eclipse, of course, the totality is short, but the length of the eclipse is, is actually quite long. It's almost three hours, and it starts a little after noon when the moon will start passing in front of the sun. But totality hits about 140, but that whole time up until 140, you're going to want to be wearing your glasses to make sure to get them out during totality. You can take these off, but only for a couple minutes until totality is over. Again, all these people have come from around the world because Dallas is the biggest metropolitan area in the country where totality will happen. People have been soaking up the Pro Museum here, food trucks, we obviously have music happening here. And of course, we have our WFAA Plus special airing on WFAA Plus starting at noon. We got all eclipse coverage from throughout the area for this once in a lifetime event. It's not gonna happen again in North Texas for almost 300 years, 2317. So if you're around in 2317, you can see the next one. If not, Today's the day for you. You know, history is being made, and the Cotton Bowl in Dallas has seen a lot of history throughout the years, but I don't know if it's seen history like this. As we said earlier, that's where Chris Sadegi is, and Chris, I hope you're ready for some history over there at the Cotton Bowl. Yes, sir, Sean, I got my glasses ready. All these kids behind me, they are learning a on-site lesson, what a field trip for them as they get to take in history. And the hope is some of these kids are really inspired to keep furthering this science, this STEM. And joining me for that is Dr. Kerry Black with the U.S. National Science Foundation. And are we hopefully looking at a next class of astronauts, somewhere in that crowd over there. I hope so, astronauts and solar physicists, yes. And, and this event, I mean, just how, Obviously, we know how rare it is, but how special is it? You told me you were there in 2017, South Carolina. You got to experience it. I was there in South Carolina in 2017. It was cloudy, so I am very hopeful that we will see the eclipse today. We'll see the corona. But she was telling me, even though it was a cloudy day, you said still the experience. Yeah, still an amazing experience. It, uh, the temperatures change so rapidly. The atmosphere changes. It gets quiet and dark, and the animals get quiet. The birds get quiet quiet. It's radical. It really is. Okay. That is what we have to look forward to here in what? About a little more than two hours, guys. So it is going to be quite the experience. You heard it from someone who's experienced it before. And a great place to experience it is in Ennis because they're right smack in the middle of that path. And that is where we find Paige McCoy-Smith. How's it out there, Paige? It is, guess what? It's sunny. As you can see, I'm wearing my sunglasses because the clouds so far have been cooperative. So we're continuing to cross our fingers that they stay that way as we get to the point of most totality. And that's the reason why we're yes, here in Ennis. This is one of the few places where they're going to have the longest span of totality. I'm excited to introduce you to somebody who came from across the pond. This is Richard Gould, all the way from London and all the way from Manchester, England. And I want to hear, boy, we got some people that are having a party for sure today. But tell me, what does what made you decide to come and participate? <laughs> well, we came in 2017 to see the eclipse in Nebraska, and we thought, how could we miss another one? So we decided to visit Texas and Ennis. 
All right, so what's the difference between what you experienced in Nebraska and what you're experiencing here in Ennis? Oh, well, everyone's so friendly here. It's so <laughs> clean, tidy, uh, and it's going to be hopefully a perfect day. Yeah, and Ennis really is the place to be. This is where it's going to be particularly exciting to see the eclipse. You're also coming at a time of year that uh, Ennis is very proud of. This is blue bonnet season for them. In fact, they're right on the edge of the peak of the blue bonnets. Blue bonnets is a flower that we're super proud of. And I'm so glad that you're able to come here from Manchester. What has the experience been like for you so far? It's been really good. We saw the blue bonnet trail yesterday. We drove around, got to see all the flowers and the long horns and the horses. So that was amazing. And then we've come back for the eclipse with the festival that they've got going on. All right. What do you think? Do you think that we're going to get lucky and be able to have that clear sky so that we can see the totality of the eclipse? Definitely. All right, and that's going to be a big deal because here in Ennis, it's, it's, it's plan we're going to have it here for 4 minutes and 23 seconds. That's a long time to be in total darkness. It's a real treat. And so what do you plan on saying to your friends when you get back to Manchester? That they missed out and they need to get to the next one in 2026. Yes, and this one is a big one because this one is not going to be coming over here for another 300 plus years. So for us, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity and it's been well worth it. Definitely. What have you loved the most about being here? Just the weather. It's freezing in the UK and always wet and it's sunny and hot here. That's right. The key word is sunny and that's what we're continuing to hope for. So I wish you were here with me, Cleo, but for now I'm going to send it inside to you. I know you're having so much fun out there, Paige, from across the pond. I truly hope he enjoys his stay here in North Texas, in Ennis especially. Paige, thank you so much. You know, we're just 30 minutes away from our special eclipse coverage, our two-hour special. It starts on WFA Plus at noon and then at 1.30 Monday afternoon we're going to be carrying the eclipse live right here on WFAA.